I created a built-in prompt optimizer for ChatGPT that instantly gives me 10x better AI results every single time. Let me show you how to do it in less than seven minutes. And the best part, you don't need any coding or technical skills. Here's something most people don't realize. You can't prompt ChatGPT5 the same way you were prompting earlier ChatGPT models. GPT-5 is OpenAI's most steerable model yet. That means if you know how to write effective prompts, you're getting PhD level results. But if you don't, well, Using basic prompts in ChatGPT is like asking a Ferrari to drive like a bicycle. Luckily, I'm giving you a cheat code. With this system, you type in a basic prompt, like write a blog post about AI diffusion models, and ChatGPT spits out a comprehensive and well-formatted prompt that gives you significantly more powerful AI output. I'm honestly shocked that I haven't seen anyone else doing this yet. By the way, if we haven't met yet, I'm Tam. I run an AI transformation company in Miami, Florida, and I'm on a mission to help you succeed with AI. You can trust me because I grew my first YouTube channel from zero to over 300,000 subscribers in just one year by building systems like this and sharing them with AI enthusiasts like you. Let's build. Open ChatGPT and click New Project from the left sidebar. Type Prompt Optimizer as the project name and tap the smiley face to add an emoji or icon. Adding an icon to the left of the project name is helpful when you have a lot of different projects and need to quickly identify the one that you want to use. Now, this next step is critical. Click the gear icon to the left of the project name and choose project only memory. ChatGPT projects were already one of the most underutilized features that OpenAI has released. But with the release of GPT-5, projects now have memory, making them infinitely more powerful. But if you mess up this step and don't set it to project only memory, the AI optimizer won't work. Now that we've set up memory, click Create Project. Tap the three dots in the top right corner and choose Add Instructions. I've already created the custom instructions for you, so feel free to copy those from this video's description or snap a screenshot. Paste those instructions in and click Save. Next, we need to add project files to this project's knowledge base so that the AI knows exactly how to create optimized prompts. Luckily, OpenAI released comprehensive guides with all the information that we need. You'll head to cookbook.openai.com or you can copy the full link in the description and copy all contents from the GPT-5 prompting guide. I then pasted these instructions into Apple Notes and exported them as a PDF. We'll create the next PDF by going to OpenAI's cookbook again, but this time to documentation titled Optimize Prompts. Again, we'll copy all of the text, paste it into a note, and export as a PDF. Or if you prefer, you can just download the PDFs from me for free using the link in the description that says Prompting PDFs. Now that we've got our data sources, go back to your ChatGPT project and tap Add File. Then upload the two PDFs that we just created. That's it. Now we're ready to test our built-in prompt optimizer. Tap your prompt optimizer project from the sidebar and type in your basic prompts. I'll say, explain why large language models are non-deterministic. Enter. Instead of the AI just answering my question as it would normally, ChatGPT5 knows that in this project, it needs to simply turn my request into a better prompt. Voila. We can then use this optimized prompt as we normally would in a new ChatGPT window. This is great for high stakes projects where what you're prompting for really matters. But here's where this gets really powerful. You can create specialized AI optimizers for different types of content. For example, create special projects for email marketing, prompts, social media content, business strategy, creative writing, video scripts. Each one becomes an expert system for that specific content area. I have 12 different optimizers running right now inside of my ChatGPT, and they've streamlined how I make content. This isn't just about saving time. It's about unlocking the full potential of AI. Most people are only using 20% of AI's capabilities. Think about that. With this system, you're using AI like the top 1%. Next week, I'm showing you how to create AI agents that work while you sleep. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it.